In the last two months, I took the challenge to pass the offshore lab provided by Hack the Box, and I didn't regret a bit of it. In this video, I will give you a review based on my own experience. Plus, you will learn how you can do it too. Why did I choose to buy a penetration testing lab in the first place? Well, I've been learning about Active Directory hacking for a while. I read blog posts on the internet on how it works and how to approach it from an attacker perspective. I also built my own local Active Directory lab and tried hacking it. Basically, Active Directory is used in most Windows-based corporate environments, which makes hacking it a valuable skill to have. However, I didn't feel I'm progressing much in my learning. I had to first learn about each attack, then introduce the vulnerability in my lab and attack it myself. I had to spend too much time and effort trying to switch hats between the sysadmin and the hacker. Besides, I wanted to train on a penetration testing lab that mimics a real company, and my computer couldn't just spin up such a big lab with multiple domains and forests. So I googled the best Active Directory penetration testing labs and I found the offshore lab provided by Hack the Box. This penetration testing lab allows you to practice your hacking skills on a company which uses Active Directory for its core IT infrastructure. Therefore, you will learn so many different techniques to take down most of your clients since Active Directory is widely used, especially in big companies. Besides that, you will have to hack some Linux machines here and there in the lab, from breaching the DMZ to exploiting internal web applications. Throughout the journey, you will collect many flags. Once you have them all, you can request your certificate of completion. So, I purchased a month of subscription plus the setup fee, received the VPN connection pack and started my hacking journey. To be able to take the maximum value from this realistic penetration testing lab, in my experience, these are the requirements that you need in order to succeed in the offshore lab. Trust me, it will allow you to totally benefit from the lab instead of banging your head with concepts you could have easily learned elsewhere for free. The first one is web application security. There are many web applications in the lab that you have to exploit before landing on the Windows domain. If you don't know how to exploit a basic SQL injection or have trouble understanding the OAuth top 10, I highly recommend you start there first. In fact, because this penetration testing lab focuses on Active Directory hacking, you will have a hard time getting hold of a Windows machine. Don't worry though, you can quickly learn about that in the OWASP Top 10 training I give for free to all those who want to start learning web application hacking. The second requirements I recommend you have is some Active Directory basics. Although this penetration testing lab focuses on Active Directory, there is no walkthrough that will walk you through the steps you need to take. At least, you have to understand and ideally practice known attacks such as curb roasting, pass the hash, DC sync, etc. You will find some references in the description box below. If you are looking for a penetration testing lab with a walkthrough, then maybe Pentester Academy's Active Directory course is the one you should get. Link in the description. The third requirement, which I recommend you have, but it's not really that important, but it will help you in the long run, is basic knowledge of networking. Because during the lab, you will move through many different subnets, uh, build SSH tunnels, proxy your traffic using SOX proxies, and get reverse shells, etc. All these operations require you to understand the basics of networking. You should be familiar with network routing, subnets, and some forms of SSH port forwarding. If you have done OSCP, then you should be fine since there is a dedicated chapter about such concepts. Otherwise, there are many YouTube videos that can teach you just networking. Now, you have the requirements. How to succeed when you are doing the offshore lab? Here are the things I suggest you do in order to succeed. 
The first thing is they hack the box Discord server. Once you purchase the offshore lab, I recommend you join the dedicated channel ProLabs-Offshore from the Hack the Box Discord server where you can interact with your peers. I made many friends along the journey. We collaborated along the different stages of the lab and shared different hacking ideas. Sometimes all you need is a nudge to achieve your exploit. Other times you simply need a hint to start learning about a new attack. Enumeration, enumeration and enumeration. If I have to tell you the one biggest skill you practice in this penetration testing lab after Active Directory hacking, that would be enumeration. You will have to properly enumerate your target at all the stages, from asset discovery to post-exploitation. Some attacks require exploiting misconfiguration issues, which you can't achieve without the knowledge you gain through proper enumeration. Some flags are even carefully put in places you can never find unless you dig very deep. And lastly, prepare to be surprised. This penetration testing lab is rich in Active Directory attacks, OS distributions, web applications and other services, including encryption. You will surely get stuck at one point or another. Therefore, be humble, prepare yourself mentally for that. It is not an easy and a straightforward lab and it will teach you that hacking a company is usually a bumpy road with many surprises along the way. Okay, now finished the penetration testing lab? What's next? Well, once you finish the lab and collect all the flags, I encourage you to try other ways. This is a great chance for you to practice Metasploit workflow to speed up your hacking process. Or maybe it's time to test that command and control server you've been planning to learn. What's a better opportunity than testing those skills on a real-life playground? I hope this video gave you a clear overview of the offshore penetration testing lab and what to expect from it and how to succeed. One last note, don't forget to unsubscribe from your monthly payment once you finish and maybe purchase another one from this awesome hacking platform. If you found this content helpful, make sure to like, comment and subscribe to this channel so that you get updates whenever I publish a new video on ethical hacking and bug bounty hunting. If you're new to hacking and want to learn the basics, check out the free OWASP Top 10 Theory and Hands-on training on thehackerish.com and apply your knowledge on the lab which supports it. If you enjoy learning with videos, I invite you to watch the OWASP Top 10 YouTube playlist. However, I encourage you to first try to solve the lab exercises so that you don't spoil them. Don't forget that there are supporting blog posts for most of the videos you watch on this YouTube channel. I also encourage you to subscribe to the Friday newsletter on thehackerish.com to gain some new hacking knowledge at the end of the week. If you enjoy listening while doing other things at the same time, check out the Hack for Fun and Profit podcast, link in the description box. Until next time, stay curious, keep learning, and go find some bugs.